In this tutorial we will learn how to create a chassis with the help of SolidWorks Weldment. I hope you like it and at the end we will make this 2D drawing also. So let's do this simple project in SolidWorks. Let's start to take a weldment exercise. Now let's first let's check the dimensions. Now let's take the frame outer distance C from here to here 25. Now here also 2000, 300, 300 from this profile. Now if you see there is a two type of profile C channel 120 into 12 then there is a tube rectangle tube 70 45 okay these are the length every cut, cut, cut cutting length and here we have quantity now you will see in uh, isometric view all dimensions are in millimeter material is plain carbon steel follow cut list table okay first let's check now at bottom this is the c channel see if you see this part one c channel and part two the center one is c channel okay this is the same c channel then we will add some tube and these all are same tube okay now this distance 5 millimeter 150 from this end then this is center distance 70 so let's make this and then we will apply you will see this c channel now let's activate top plane sketch now i am going to activate here center rectangle okay now let me draw one line horizontal make this line collinear okay now let's define 2500 this overall length 2000 millimeter okay now distance from here to one end 300 from this end to this end 300 now look now see our drawing is fully defined okay let's add some more here now this is going to be 500 and enter right click exit now here i am going to now this line going to connect from center to here and these distance given 750 millimeter now one more distance from here to here 150 activate line and there is one center line just just find midpoint connect midpoint to midpoint okay now we have a chassis profile or a sketch simply exit now go to weldments or right click activate tab and activate weldment from here first we have to activate structural member now we have only two types of so in at a time we can perform only one structural uh, one profile so let's say standard iso standard c channel now here 120 into 2 this is the r now we have to choose a group so let's say i'm going to select this one and by default this is going to be first group okay now according to drawing this is at bottom and this is the come down here choose locate profile now you will see there are many small small point if you select this point the profile going to locate on this line so i'm going to select this top end point now look how this is going to set at this point inside this bottom the, below this line okay now either to create new st structure better to activate new group now this time i am going to select this line now look this is also should be downward side and uh, you will see the profile this should be outside 
सो कम डाउन नाउ लेट मी चेंज एंगल 180 एटी डिग्री रोटेट इट ओके आई वॉन्ट ओपनिंग आउटसाइड नाउ लोकेट प्रोफाइल नाउ विच प्रोफाइल दिस कॉर्नर प्रोफाइल यू विल सी बोथ आर सिमिलर लेट्स एक्टिवेट थर्ड ग्रुप एंड दिस सेंटर वन नाउ लुक दिस पोजिशन इज समथिंग लाइक दिस लेट्स अप्लाई एंगल फर्स्ट वी नीड टू चेंज एंगल देन लोकेट पोजिशन टू सेवेंटी डिग्री लुक दिस इज वॉट पोजिशन आई वॉन्ट नाउ लोकेशन अप्लाइड हियर दिस कॉर्नर सो आई वॉन्ट टू अप्लाई एट सेंटर सो हियर एक्टिवेट लोकेट प्रोफाइल एंड क्लिक एट सेंटर सेंटर टॉप सी दिस प्रोफाइल इज मूव एट सेंटर नाउ से ओके बिकॉज वी नीड टू सिलेक्ट अनदर प्रोफाइल लुक now let's come here again activate structural member <coughs> iso standard now this time i am going to use rectangle tube rectangular tube okay now size 70 by 40 by 5 mm okay now let's select first group so i am going to select this one now let's check position now see this is lies at center we have to apply at top and from this side so locate profile now which profile you are going to choose we are going to choose this end point profile end point now select view see profile exactly at this corner isometric view new group now select this profile now activate locate now i want to fix at center top point see now this is level at this now there is one more new group now select this one okay now first let me activate here locate profile now let's check this corner we have to fix this corner see at top you will see this is star point see my cursor here now see this is going to be like this say okay now look the profile is perfectly aligned but this is little extended due to tapered so there is option extend trim now corner type i am going to choose end trim the first one body is to be trimmed so i am going to select this profile because i want to trim this body now there is a trimming boundary there are two method face plane or bodies so i am going to choose face plane because face plane is clear for this now select this face now select see out of this flex uh, face all the body or whatever solid things is going to trim now here you will see body 1 2 now here select discard now this side going to trim only this side going to remove see body keep 1 1 keep look simply go to feature mirror reference plane right plane now here i am going to choose bodies to mirror so select this body you will see the preview okay now we have see here there are total four number of this profile and this profile have in equal distance so how we can do this you will see at top activate linear pattern now direction let's say direction to move this profile defined now here i am going to choose up to reference up to reference means we have to choose one plane that number of patterns going to extend up to this particular plane so i am going to select this plane you will see it's going to select this plane now let me first choose body this is the r body okay 
now okay you forget to choose this plane face okay now the next one is selected reference we have to choose the face of this profile now here choose pattern total four number see now this method going to equally define all the dimensions say okay if i am going to reduce the length let's say this one 2000 enter see the distance between this all remains same 25000 see now let's apply material right click plain carbon steel okay let's make drawing for this make drawing from part save and insert okay let's say chassis now here i am going to choose one any type of uh, sheet size or format so i am going to choose a3 okay now you will see at uh, right side all the views are here so any one views you can drag so i'm going to drag right side and just move cursor over this is the top view so place here now if you move at 45 degree you will see isometric view if you don't want to make at 45 degree just press control key and see you can move in any direction so let's say i'm click here okay now first i am going to change this one uh, unit uh, scale user defined now here let's say 20 okay that's look better now for clear vis visibility right click tangent edge tangent edge remove okay now it looks more practical tangent edge remove let's make this one shaded view high quality say now right click or just go to table drop down table and i i want to make weldment cut list because solid works by default make the list cut list for weldment products for weldment parts cut list okay here i'm i want to change something like this okay say okay now you will see the profile just place somewhere here now see If you want to change something like uh, 16. Okay. Still let me change here the thickness of uh, these lines. Okay now it seems more now click this is view auto balloon say okay now you can drag according to your requirement see now click this one this view better for this also make uh, this view better okay let's apply dimension now see you don't want this zero so open option documents property go to dimensions 
drop down and here see dimensions remove trailing zero okay now look there is no zero now let okay let's complete this now select now let me select this line connect with this now select these line make collinear relation this is important relation now let's define the distance okay you can add it here mm because for at least one now we can okay let's uh, go here center line okay smart dimension let's defend center line to outside 700 millimeter that's fine okay here one more option chain dimension you have to select the first line okay then let's select second line see let's select third line let's select fourth line see you can do it like this say okay again smart dimension now let's define the gap between these two go to leaders inside and this is the last one even though bottom here you, you can define that's it okay let's uh, do for this also distance from here okay now no okay now let me select this all you can change uh, font let's say new roman size 20 okay even though color blue fine edit sheet format now this is already by default double click and from here you can apply uh, let's say solid box built means chassis you can define any color or anything something like bold red pretty okay at least not here right add them okay i'm going to change many things bold let's say blue let's make it something like this 20 okay okay that's enough for this now see so this is a simple tutorial for the beginners those who want to learn what is solid box weldment and how to use solid box weldment so this is a simple chassis tutorial i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid box thanks for watching even if you want to save this one save as here choose pdf save now it is going to make pdf for you see